Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Football Manager 14, Becoming a Legend. And last time you joined me, we were struggling. We had an absolutely torrid few weeks. Uh, the Christmas period was not good for us. Our form just completely dropped. We completely went off the boil. So I've had to make some changes. I've had to freshen it up. I've had to reinvigorate the squad. And I started off with the tactics... Um, I didn't really change the formation. Well, I didn't change the formation at all. I made the fullbacks complete defenders now. They're defensive, which allows these these four players who play in front of the uh, halfback to really have freedom to do what they want. And I've also increased the amount we hassle the opponents. Uh, of course, as you can see, we push higher up now and we hassle opponents, which means we give them much less time. Um, so I think that's where we were going wrong. The opponents just had too much time on the ball. And although it meant we had a lot of players in front of the opponents and there wasn't much space in front of them, they had so much time to just keep the ball. And I think that was where we were going wrong. As If you look back on the uh, previous games and previous episodes, we see you'll see that we had hardly any possession. Uh, but hopefully that will change now. Now we're, we're, we're really closing them down. We're not letting them have any time. Hopefully we'll have a bit more possession. Hopefully we'll control the game now. Uh, but also I've had to make some transfers, I've had to make some real changes. I wanted to get a striker first and foremost. Um, we had two old strikers, I let them go, Stephen McLean and Paul Heffernan, they were both too old. Um, and I wanted to bring on, bring in someone who could potentially be to the standard of Hodzic when Hodzic leaves at the end of the season. But yet yeah, still wouldn't mind playing back up this season. Um, I went for this guy called Gianmarco Mark, Gian Marco Zigoni, an Italian, very, very intelligent striker, uh, great fitness, very physical, um, bit of a target man, but he's also got pace, which I like. I love a player which is great in the air and quick. I think that's a great combination. Um, and he looks pretty tasty. He looks very nice. He's not as good as Hodzic by a long shot, but he's, I think he's got some room to grow. Uh, he's only 23 years old. Hopefully, we'll see his attributes shoot up. Um, but for a free agent on £675 a week, great signing. I think I'm glad with that one. Um, so, I've got two solid striker options now. Um, the second position I, I had to strengthen was the goalkeeper. I was not happy with the goalkeepers. Um, Jamal Blackman has just been completely disappointed. And towards the end of the season, Michael McGuffin, or the end of the period... Michael McGovern started the season really well, but he just went off the boil completely. Um, he's actually been shot down. Man City went in for him, though. Got him for free. Um, I don't know why Man City have bought him. Um, no no idea whatsoever. But he went to Man City. He, his wages got off our books, which was a good thing. And we replaced him with this boy here, Kieran Westwood. Ex-Sunderland player. Great player. Absolutely great player. Um, and he hasn't conceded a goal in the league. He's only played one game. Uh, he had another clean sheet in the League Cup. Uh, but he let a few goals in in the Scottish Cup. But, you know, two out of three clean sheets is pretty good. So when you first joined the club, uh, I'll definitely want to keep an eye on him. And then I got a bit of backup. Uh, I bought this guy called Simon Lennian. Just just as backup to Abdul Osman, really, our halfback. He can't play half-back at the moment. I'm hoping to retrain him here because I think he's got the attributes for it. He lacks a bit of mental attributes, which I really want to push up. But his 16 strength is outstanding. Um, I want to push up his marking as well. I'm hopefully, he'll play a very good half-back. Six foot two, he's going to be a tank, an absolute tank. And he's also got the attacking attributes as well, which I like. Um, so he will be able to link up the defence, the back line to the midfield, which will be a great option. Hopefully, he'll develop... He might not, but I'm hoping he will. The system hasn't got much uh, hope for him, to be honest. Two and a half stars, I think we'll outgrow him. You know, two and a half stars in a few seasons, hopefully, will be rubbish for us. Be about one and a half stars in two and a half seasons. But, you know, it's worth the gamble on, you know, pet pennies, really. £300 a week. I also bought a backup striker, a youngster, Alex Iwobi. Uh, used to play for Arsenal, another ex-Arsenal player. He looks alright. He looks alright. Yet yeah, again, tall and quick. It, it's all going to depend on how he develops, to be honest. 
Uh, he's got a lot of potential according to my assistant, so hopefully he does grow. But it's all going to be come down to the coaching. I have improved the coaching. If I show you the um, transfer history for staff, can I do that? Yep, staff. I brought in two coaches. I brought in this guy, Paul Scott. I wanted a more defensive coach because I think we really need to work on our defending. And I brought in a fitness coach with 17 Fitness, uh, a quality coach, and it's really improving our training. If I look at the uh, coaches here, we've only got a few less than two and a half stars, only a few less than three stars, which is really, really good. Um, I want to push them all up to three stars at the before the um, next season starts, if I'm still at this club. Um, hopefully I will be. Um, main one I want to get up is attacking. I think that's one you really have to get up. Where's attacking? I don't know where aerobics gone. There we go. Um, yeah, I want to... Oh, attacking looks alright. Oh, I don't know really. I want to get a few of them up. Um, shooting, I think, needs to go up. Uh, and aerobic, but it's looking all right now. I've, I've got the assistant to assign it. Oh dear! So that's quite good considering the, the status of the club, the reputation of the club. But let's quickly look at the games. I showed you the transfers. Last time you joined us, we we lost to Kilmarnock three 0 We went to Aberdeen. We won one nil. Um, a great game. Hodzic played. Hodzic sort of what has been missing for the past couple of games at this point. Bit of a shame. Um, and then we went on to Partick Thistle. We won 5-2. Joe McKee scoring two. We lost 5-2, I'm afraid. Uh, Joe McKee getting two goals, though. He's really he's really developing nicely. I'm thinking he's going to be the future captain. Um, if he improves his um, mental attributes, I'm sure he will with his age. But he, he looks quality. And his creativity is going up. At the beginning of the season, his creativity wasn't there. And it's going up. It's going up nicely. 5-2 um, was a disappointing loss. More, to say the least. But then we went to Queen of the South. And Hodzic stepped up. I want to show you his goal here. It was given um, as goal of the uh, season. Goal of the season. Goal of the month. Um, as you can see, playing a few weird ones there. Ben Greenhouse played. Pascasia I've been given the games because um, McC... Um, McGowan was out on international duty still. And Pascasio is developing so well as well. I want to show you Pascasio because he is shot up. He's a world-class player. And as you can see, Hodzic's there. Just drifts it. Just It just floats over the keeper and into the top right-hand corner. Similar to Cantona's goal, really. Um, just not a volley. Um, but 1-0 against Queen in the South. Uh, it looks like things are on the up. And in the League Cup semi-final, we... Smashed Dundee United 1-0. One, one when I say smashed, we didn't smash them. We just beat them. But still, it was a massive result. Uh, we were in the final of the League Cup, which is a great thing. Hopefully, I can get some silverware under my belt. Improve my reputation as a manager, hopefully. And then we went to Motherwell and we lost 3-1 in the Scottish Cup. But to be honest, because we're doing well in the League Cup, I'm not that bothered about the Scottish Cup. Um, to be honest, it'll probably just be a burden. I want to save my fitness for the Premier League now. Uh, and the League Cup, of course. So you've only got a few games left until the league divides, if you don't know this. The top six teams become their own league and the bottom six teams become their own league. Um, so hopefully we'll qualify for that top six. It'll be a massive disappointment now if we don't. But we're sitting pretty in third. Maybe this is the position we're going to finish. I'm not too sure. What do you guys reckon? But like I said, I want to show you this guy here, Greg Pascasio, because he's, he's growing so nicely. 18 years old and I think Premier League, Premier League teams might be after him soon because he is he's developing so well. Another youngster who's just shot up. Attributes have just absolutely shot up. Quality player there. But hopefully this is it now. Hopefully we'll start getting those consistent results again like we did at the start of the season. Like here, wow, look at all that. Hopefully we'll get that again. <laughs> Seems a long way away, a long time ago now. But hopefully we'll get back to that standard again. We've got the team. We've got a good team now. I think we haven't really got a weak link now. Now we've got uh, Kieran Westwood. I think we've got a solid, solid team. Uh, Dylan McGowan, still the best player, I think. And, of course, Armin Hodzic, who... Just a star. Absolute star. But, tune in next time, guys, where hopefully the results will have settled in and we'll be battling for the top place of this league again. Leave your predictions in the comments as well where you think I'll finish this season. I'll see you later. Bye.